Welcome student, in this video, we will see the design of sequential circuit solved problem 2. Design the sequential circuit using T flip flop, the state diagram is shown below. The state diagram is given, from that we need to design the sequential circuit using the T flip flop. The sequential circuit has one input and one output. Now we will see the state diagram. So this is the state diagram given in the problem itself. In the question paper, the state diagram will be given. From that, we need to develop the state table, design of D flip-flop and reduction of the expression, D flip-flop expression. That expression is implemented with the logic gate, logic diagram. Right. First, we will from the state diagram, we will develop the state table. Right. This state diagram, there are four states available, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. So, these are all the four states. So, this line indicates the states from, goes from one state to another state, right. For that, these two digits are, first is the input, second is the output. While the state goes from one state to another state, indicated by the red color line. For that, the input is, first digit is the input, second digit is the output. This green color line indicates the state goes to same state itself. It goes to the current state and second next state also same. So that is indicated by the green color line, right? So there are four states and goes from one state to another state or state itself. These two digit, first one indicates input, second one indicates the output. Now we'll develop this state table. This is the present state. These two are next state for x equal to 0 as well as x equal to 1. This is the output for x equal to 0 as well as x equal to 1. First, we will take the state 0, 0. 0, 0 goes to 0, 0 itself. For input also 0, output also 0. See this. 0, 0 goes to 0, 0 itself. Input is 0, output also 0. 0, 0 goes to 1, 1. For input is 1, output also 1. 0, 0 goes to 1, 1. Input is 1, output also 1. Right? So, this state diagram, we develop the state table. Next, we will take the 0, 1. This 0, 1 goes to 1, 0. 0, 1 goes to 1, 0. For that, input is 0, output also 0. 0, 1 goes to 1, 0. Input is 0, output also 0. 0, 1 goes to 0, 0. Input is 1, output is 0. 0, 1 goes to 0, 0. Input is 1, output is 0. Right. Next, we will take the 1, 0. See, this 1, 0 goes to 0, 0. For input is 0, output is 1, right? 1, 0 goes to 0, 0. Input is 0, output is 1. This 1, 0 goes to 1, 1. 1, 0 goes to 1, 1. What is the input? Input is 1, output is 0. Input is 1, output is 0, right? The last one. 1, 1 goes to 1, 1 itself. 1, 1 goes to 1, 1 itself. For input equal to 0, output is 1. Input is 0, output is 1. 1, 1 goes to 0, 1. 1, 1 goes to 0, 1. What is the input? Input is 1, output is 0. Input is 1, output is 0. Right? So, from the state diagram, now we developed the state table. This is the present state. Next state for x equal to 0 and x equal to 1. Output for x equal to 0 and x equal to 1. Now, we need to design the D flip-flop. Now, first we need to identify how many flip-flops are required right so the number of states equal to capital n equal to 4 there are four states available the number of flip flop is identified from this condition 2 to the power n minus 1 small n minus 1 less than or equal to capital n less than or equal to 2 to the power n this n is nothing but number of flip flop n equal to 2 if you substitute n equal to 2 2 to the power 2 minus 1 less than or equal to 4 the number of states less than or equal to 2 to the power 2. So, 2 to the power 1 less than or equal to 4 less than or equal to 4. So, 2 less than or equal to 4 less than or equal to 4. This condition is satisfied. So, the number of flip flop n equal to 4, right? We can, we, this number of flip flop n is not 4, it is 2. Number of flip flop equal to 2, right? Now, we need to design the T flip flop. We decided we are using the T flip flop. There are, we need two flip-flop. For that, we need to find what is the input to the, this two T flip-flop. 
now we'll go to the design design table right so this is the two flip-flop ta tb right the what we need to identify what is the input to the first flip-flop ta second flip-flop tb this is the input x this is the output y that is available in the excitation table this is the current state this is the next state from current state to next state we need to identify what is the ta value and tb value right first how to develop this diagram this 0 0 to 0 0 input is 0 output also 0 right now we'll go to the state table that is clearly given 0 0 to 0 0 the input is 0 output also 0 similarly 0 1 to 1 0 input is 0 output also 0 1 0 to 0 0 1 1 to 1 1 for that the input is 0 for output is 0 0 1 1 so this only written in the in this d flip flop right 0 0 to 0 0 0 1 to 1 0 1 0 to 1 0 0 1 1 to 1 1 for all the case the input is 0 output is 0 0 1 1 similarly if the input is 1 these are all the four states for that output is 1 0 0 right so this table is developed from the exit state table from the previous state table right so input is available output is also available present state next state also available we need to identify the input for the first flip flop ta and input for the second flip flop tb right i think you are able to understand this 0 0 to 0 0 what is the input what is the output right there are eight combinations i will explain the state table again so there are eight stable that is 0 0 to 0 0 0 1 to 1 0 1 0 to 0 0 1 1 to 1 0 four combination for that x equal to 0 0 0 to 1 1 0 1 to 0 0 1 0 to 1 1 1 1 to 0 1 for that input equal to 1 output is this one so that eight combination these two and these two right like that only the design of d flip flop the tabular column is developed right so now we see this the what is the input for first flip flop ta second flip flop tb right what is the excitation table of t flip flop from that only we can identify so this is the current state next state the input to the t flip flop see this 0 0 there is no change in current state and next state mean the input is 0 the t flip flop input is 0 1 1 so there is no change current state also 1 next state also 1 that means there is the t flip flop value is 0 so both are same current state and next state both are same means the t value is 0 0 to 1 the current state is changed from 0 to 1 or 1 to 0 means the t input will be 1 right so both the states are equal the t value is 0 the state changes from either 0 to 1 or 1 to 0 means the t value will be 1 right so based on this we can identify the value of the ta and tb right first we will see the ta 0 to 0 no change so that ta also 0 0 to 1 change is there so that 1 1 to 0 it is current the current state and next state is changed so that 1 1 to 1 no change so 0 0 to 1 changed so that 1 0 to 0 no change 0 1 to 1 no change 0 1 to 0 changed so that 1 right similarly we can go for qb and qb bar 0 to 0 no change so that the input is 0 then 1 to 0 the in the state is changed so that input is 1 0 0 to 0 no change 0 1 to 1 no change 0 0 to 1 changed so that input is 1 1 to 0 changed so that 1 0 to 1 1 1 to 1 no change current state and next state is same so that the input is 0 right here it is changed from 0 to 1 current state is 0 next state is 1 means the t value will be 1 right the 0 indicates there is no change in current state and next state 1 1 means there is a change in current state and next state either from 0 to 1 or 1 to 0 right now we got the input for ta and tb using the k map we need to identify the minimum expression for ta tb and y output y for these three we need to identify the 
minimal expression using k map now we will go to the k map now we will see the k map reduction we need to identify the expression for t a t b and y for that the input is x q a q b in x is the input q a q b is the current state of the flip flop right so x q a q b is taken as the inputs so the x having one variable two combination x bar x 0 1 q a q b two digits so that four combinations are available 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 means q a bar q b bar 0 1 means 0 means q a bar 1 means q b 1 1 means q a q b 1 0 means q a q b bar so from the tabular column there are four ones are available these four ones are not able to group all are available individually so that we got the expression x bar q a bar q b plus x bar q a q b bar plus x q a bar q b bar plus x q a q b right we got this expression it is not minimized because not able to grouping now we'll go to tb for tb the input is x q a q b right so there are four ones available these two are grouped together and these two are grouped together right and left corner while grouping these two this x bar x got cancelled only we need to say this second column q a bar q b so that is available q a bar q b while grouping these two what we have here x is there so x we need to write x i need to check the first column and fourth column here q a bar is available here q a is available so got cancel only q b bar is commonly available so x q b bar right so t b value is q a bar q b plus x q b bar now we'll go to the y so in this y there are three ones available these two are grouped together this is available individually while grouping these two what we have x bar correspondingly third and fourth column q b bar and q b got cancelled only q a so that x bar q a while grouping while uh, analyzing this one what is have x here q a bar q b x q a bar q b so this is the expression for y now we got the expression for t a t b and y so these three expressions should be implemented with the t flip flop now we'll go to the logic diagram so we have two t flip flop available t a t b the corresponding outs is q a q a bar q b q b bar right what is the uh, input to the t a t a is nothing but there are four four terms available four are added together for that we have one or gate for multiplying the terms we have four and gates what is the term x q a q b so corresponding inputs are added together x bar q a bar q b x bar q a q b bar then last one is x q a bar q b bar right these four are multiplied together then added then it is given to t a similarly t b t b is nothing but x q b bar plus q a bar q b these two are multiplied then added then given to the t b right now we have one more term y is available what is the expression for y y is nothing but is x q a bar q b plus x bar q a these two are multiplied by the and gate then it is added so we got the final value y so in this video we discuss about the design of sequential circuit using t flip flop right the state diagram is given from that state table is developed from that design of t flip flop is developed from the design reduced expression for a t a t b and y is calculated using k map that expression is implemented with the t flip flop in a logic circuit thank you for listening